Thank you. I'm very grateful to have the opportunity to present my ongoing work here today. It's an unfinished story. I would love to hear your ideas, and there's plenty of room for improvements. Um, in the case of larger genomes, such as humans, target enrichment is required prior to Menaian sequencing to obtain sufficient coverage on loci of interest. I'm currently working on development of a flexible and economical capture strategy. Uh, on my slide, you can see an overview of our approach. And in green, you can see the steps which worked perfectly so far, of which I will give you the main highlights. But there is some way to go for the gray steps. Um, for target capture, probes are uh, required. And especially for longer uh, probes, it's getting quite expensive to have those commercially ordered. So therefore, I propose this simple strategy. In a first PCR, just a standard PCR, a fragment in the locus of interest is amplified, and this is done with a tailed primer. So after purification, a second PCR with just one five prime bind bindladed primer is used as an asymmetric PCR, yielding single-stranded probes. Uh, I have the same primer with a FAM label, so I can just optimize it using capillary electrophoresis. Um, for shearing, as an alternative to Covaris G-tubes, we use the Mega Raptor. Um, since the consumable costs are cheaper than G-tubes, and the shearing is very reproducible. A disadvantage, perhaps, is that the Mega Raptor is not directly high throughput, since it performs the sequential shearing of two samples in half an hour. And as such, on a normal working day, you can only shear about 50 to 60 samples. Um, with the sizes, you can see in blue here the uh, unsheared sample, in red the sheared sample with a nice peak on 10 kb, uh, which is what we wanted to shear for. Then after shearing, I performed the classical enzymatic steps, nothing really new here. Uh, and at this point, I use size selection on the blue pippin to eliminate the, sh the smaller fragments. Our current machine uh, enables four samples in parallel and his bigger brother can do 22. So essentially, this machine performs an automated shell extraction aiming for a predefined size range. And specifically, I would like to remove everything smaller than 8 KB from my prep. And this looks like this. As you can see, sharply, uh, everything which is smaller, which we don't really want in our prep, is removed. Uh, after this, I have the ligation of the barcode adapters, I have long-range PCR, and then I can go straight into the capture. This is an overview of the, the sizes of my fragments with quite promising results for the final read lengths we might obtain. Um, the next step would be to perform a hybridization capture, uh, then fishing out with septive encoded beads, uh, followed by another post-capture amplification, after which these fragments can be put on the Minayan sequencer. So uh, thank you for your attention. I would be happy to discuss this more in depth at my poster. If you have any Possibly questions. one question, burning question. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks.